Hello and welcome, my name is Setica, thank you very much for joining me. Today we are on another step in the path to excellence for the T-54. Now, I've been thinking that I'm probably going to go with the, showing you a few snippets, or rather a few games every now and then, of this tank, while I try to get as close to the 95%. I'm not saying that it's possible for me, I'm saying I'm going to do the best that I can. And uh, I'm going to be showing you some of those games, and I'm probably also going to be showing you some games in other tanks that I also want three marks of excellence in. For example, like the Tanker 2. Uh, so we'll have some a few tanks running simultaneously. With that said, let's get quickly into these games. I'm going to be showing you two games probably, while I also talk about how I failed, if I indeed do fail, and... Well, there's three, four. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of tier tens. Of course, going against tier tens is a good guy, bad guy situation, sort of. Where uh, I will get the opportunity to do more damage because they, of course, have more health. But then again, they're also usually better armored. Although in this case, it's really not a, the case, considering that... Uh, all of them are lightly armored, except the whole of the Waffle Tracks A100, I guess. Well, we'll see how it goes, right? Hopefully, I can get my 3,500 damage, or however much it uh, needs. Now, I've been looking at the formula that calculates the average damage for the last 100 games, and now I'm not really a math guy so much as I'm a logic guy, but it seems like me, to me, like uh, the formula only takes the highest of the two numbers between spotting and average damage, or between spotting and damage. Which would mean that if you have very good spotting damage, you're going to be uh, getting your average damage from that rather than from the da from, rather from average damage, right? So a light tank will be dependent on spotting, rather than... Eh, too bad. Let's get into cover. It was a bit stupid that I stopped there. No doubt about that. Okay, that was one shot. Let's see if we can get ourselves one more. Into this guy. Now, by being here, I'm also in cover, which of course is very nice. Always want to stay in cover. Okay, so someone is over there. Three shots out of an estimated 12, or something along those lines. What's you? What are you doing? Mate. That's, uh, four. Five. Now, I'm a bit worried about this bat chat over here. Considering that he might just show up all of a sudden, like he is doing right now. I need help. If we can track him, we can't, apparently. Okay, this guy is apparently an idiot. Let's punish him a little bit. Well, I was the one who got punished there. Should really have seen that one coming, I guess. Well, yeah, that was a <laughs> quick. I, I shouldn't have gone out, really. That's stupid. I had this completely under control until I decided that I was going to move out. Oh well. I mean... Stuff like that is just a habit for me at the point, this point, which is really stupid. I need to get much, much better at uh, judging what I can and cannot do. And I really need to not sacrifice my health. Really. But of course, that's why we're here, aren't it? Isn't it? We're here to learn shit. I am, rather. I'm here because I need to get better. So that I can get the third mark of excellence. And you're here because, I don't know, you want to see me fail, I guess. <laughs> I have some fun while doing it. What are you doing? So I'm sorry that I died that early. But of course... Well, what should I really... I should just have not have... I should not have gone around the bend 
because then the bad head would not have been able to kill me in a single shot. It really is as simple as that. Ooh, it was going rather alright. But I fucked it up. But we'll do better next time, right? We only need 100 good games. <laughs> only 100! We don't need any more than that, and then we are golden. But let's see how it goes with our average. Now, I really would like to know exactly if the whole uh, spotting damage is actually just a cumulative effect. If they just add it. Or rather, an additive effect, I guess. I don't know. If they just add the number flat, that would be much to my uh, benefit, I guess. But it is clear that spotting does help in some regard. Oh. Damn. That was a brutal bounce right there. Oh well. Now I'm thinking that I might be able to get 3 marks of excellence somewhat quicker in the Tiger 2. Since I am only going to be needing a couple hundred more average damage to get there for three marks of excellence and then of course I need, still need the 100 games which uh, apparently is correct but I'm not really going to try and sound clever on uh, that formula I would have loved to be alive through a bit longer here so that I wouldn't have died and I would have been able to get a lot more damage done. But of course, that was really my own mistake. Yeah, well, let's have a look. 2375 damage done. 2375 damage done. And I have zero damage caused with my assistance, so I did not spot anyone. Oh, and that actually makes sense, considering there was a light tank sitting right next to me, right? Let's see, 1848, 1848, and... And, 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 494, 53. 494, There we go. And, finally, 55.26. 55.26. So, we are only missing... 10 uh, percentage to get to the first mark of excellence which would be which will be nice and then we are missing 30 to get to 2 and 40 to get to 3 so there's a way to go there and I probably need to not get games like this ever <laughs> if I am to ever get something along those lines but of course we can't do it if we never try, right? We just have to keep on doing it and be awesome. Yes! Okay, we are tier, we are top tier and it is encounter. Where should I go? Should I go up there? I don't have much experience going up there really. I usually go uh, either down there or up here. But I'll probably try moving up there. I don't know. Going up there, you're kind of... You're not going to get that many opportunities to shoot at people. I'm going to place myself right in the middle of the map, especially considering that there's no artillery. Meaning that this position right here is going to be safe. So, I'm going to start by moving right up there and see if I can't get a shot from here and down there on people moving this way. It might happen. You never know, I've seen crazier shit. Of course, it might also mean that I get shot at from right here, which is definitely a possibility. But let's see what happens. Okay, I've not been spotted yet. That's a good sign. First shot. The fuck was that? Oh, it was the T-49, of course. Okay, let's get another shot, shot in on this Jack Panther. Two shots. Okay, we have a T-54 who's being cheeky. Well then. Let's have a look. 
at where we can really go. Okay. Ah, it went low. Too bad. What is he doing? Sitting out in the open like that. Okay. Three shots. Uh, that guy's not going to be shooting at me. Let's see if I can hit his Coppola. Well, he hit mine. That's for certain. Well, that was a risk I was willing to take. Let's see. Nope. Let's shoot a bit too early there. Let's move a bit back. To make it a bit harder to hit me. Four shots. Those guys are really happy with shooting my Coppola, eh? Okay, five shots. I could really use some guy over there being a bit more helpful, gotta say. Okay, it's not going to happen. Okay, we have a T-34 over here. I wonder how many people going to be around this area of which I should try to move around. Okay, more shots. I'm going to need I need to be ready to get the fuck out of here. I actually just need to get the fuck out of here. Let's move. That's really my best chance of surviving right now. Apparently no one is over there. That's good. Maybe I should not move this way, but rather stay with my friends over here where they can support me. Where's the T-34? Okay, apparently... No, if all of those guys are moving that way, I'm going to be moving this way here. Oh boy, that's bad. Can I track you? Apparently not. I don't want to deal with that T-30. Say. But I had to. Oh well. Yeah, so those were really some rather bad games, really. Which does make me a bit sad. But of course, you can't always get good games, right? Sometimes you just get average games, and that's alright. So, maybe we can still win this game. That would be something. Oh, oh uh, yeah, get that damage. Friend, E50, that is also a sexy little tank, isn't it? I like it. It's like a, it's like it's a small tiger or something. I love tigers. Tiger 2's rather. Which of course makes sense considering it's the Tiger 2 hull, I think. So it looks like this is going to be a loss. Hmm. Someone is raging at the Z50. There's no reason to that. There's no reason for that. He's doing what he can. Don't rage. Don't rage, people. You don't need to rage. You just need to have a good time. Oh. Yeah, he did help. He helped me out. Had that uh, T-30 missed, I would have uh, survived. And this game might have turned a turn, made a turn for the better. Who knows? But he did kill three guys, which is certainly a good start. Right? Now you need to watch out for that T-30 there. You don't want to get owned by one of those. Really? Careful, you're not going to show him. No. It went alright in the end. Now, if they decide they're not going to want to cap, he might have a chance. He can do it. I believe in you, E50. <laughs> it's only one against seven. No problem. 
course, if they're going to cap, it's going to be a bit harder. Oh, you need to watch out for that uh, T-34 over there. He forgot his flank. I do that all the time, forgetting my flank. But of course, if you don't give them anything, they're going to be sad, right? They need damage as well. You have to take something while you... You have to give something while you take something, right? <laughs> hmm... Well, it's going all right so far. It's a good uh, little damage. Where's the Yak Tiger who was over there last? He went for the Capola, that might be a mistake. Get going. Nope. Now you just need to be aggressive and go up around him and get a shot into his flank. And then you need to start getting... There we go. And then you just need to start going in there and decapping them. I'm sorry, guy, but you're not going to be able to move all the way around in time. If you wanted to decap, you needed to go up there. I'm guessing he... Uh, he didn't. Although, of course, if he went up there, then there's... Well, the enemy team would have to show themselves to him before he would uh, be able to decap, so... I guess it's kind of irrelevant to begin with. Oh, well. Here we go. Let's see. Let us see what we had. Not a lot. 2,548. 2,548. And... We got 659 spotting. Or assistance, rather. Uh, hello? Game? Don't be a douche. There we go. Here we go. All right then. And 1858. It is going upwards, just very slowly. But I mean, as long as it goes up, that's great, right? 496.99. 496.99. But as long as it goes up, it's definitely moving in the right direction. 56.23. 56.23. And with that, we have gone up one and a half percentage over two games. That's decent enough, I guess. Not really as good as I would like. But still, it could have gone a lot worse. I could have gone, done zero damage rather than at least the 2,500 that I did. So I just need to get better at playing that tank, and then we can at least get the second mastery, second uh, mark of excellence. I don't know about the third, because that's going to be a lot harder. But still, I hope you enjoyed watching me play a few T-54 games here, and I hope you'll return for more in the future, more World of Tanks, more T-54, more mark of excellence. And please, all of you, have a very nice evening.